Hi folks, I did a, a video on my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Stephen Cronin, um, a few weeks ago. And it was called My Favourite Painting. Um, Robert asked me a question about what my favourite painting was of all the ones I've done over the years. And generally, I was trying to explain that I didn't really have a favourite. The reason being, every painting I've, I've done, I've always thought oh, well, I could have done this better I could have done that better and so I've always thought you know the next one will be the best one the next one always the next one um, but Linda left a nice comment saying I think most of us feel the same way I do have some of my paintings framed and hung in the house and as I get better I change them up um, it's probably a good idea um, obviously as we get better we're always gonna well hopefully improve um, and develop our methods and whatnot, and, and so changing the paintings, I think, over a re on a regular basis is a good way of doing it. I too am a perfectionist, and I know what you mean about always seeing something in a painting that could have been done better. But I'm curious about the other question Rob asked. I'll rephrase it and throw that out again. If you had to choose one painting you did as a favourite for whatever reason, what would it be? Please share a photo of the painting and explain how you're connected with it. So I will, I'll do that. There's actually one, the one that does stick out in my mind was, uh, it was like a river scene. I did it on YouTube. It's one of my, I think it's one of the more, most viewed um, videos I did. But what I like about that one is sometimes you'll, you'll try something and it'll just come off and I don't think you could have done it any better. Um, and plus, I think the fact that I was videoing it, which isn't the easiest way to paint, because you're having to focus on doing a commentary and, and the rest of it. So I was really happy with that one. And I, th I think that's the one I'll choose. So I'll post that um, video on my Patreon page just to, just to show as the example. That's probably my favourite one. Um, Linda continues, I've started trying to sell a few paintings. And when I'm choosing which ones to sell, I always find a few which I cannot part with. Not necessarily my best, but I'm attached to them for sentimental reason, reasons. One example is my first Stephen Cronin tutorial painting. After I painted it, I said to myself, this is the way I want to paint. Now, I've, I've felt that when I watched my first Ron Ransom video. I'd watched a few DVDs, but I wanted to have a go at painting, but I couldn't find a style or a, a technique that I found interesting. And as soon as I saw this Ron Ransom's Fast and Loose, I knew, I, th I, th I thought exactly the same as what Linda did, you know, this is the way I want to paint. Um, so Linda continues, it was exhilarating and I felt so free during the painting process. It's not one of my best, but I do love that painting. So thanks for your comments, Linda. And yeah, I will, I'll, I'll find that um, tutorial I did on YouTube and I'll post that. And uh, I'll post a few words as, as to why I, I like that one so much. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.